Fuck Russia. <laughs>Stacy, today I just thought I actually just came back from the dinner from a dinner not too long ago So I'm feeling really nice and happy and excited or whatever and I just realized that I Forgot to do a 2016 edition of reading mean slash weird comments So I thought why not do it today? So that's what I'm doing right now before I start this video though I just wanted to thank um, two of my subscribers really quick who gave me, um, who sent me stuff, and um, this coffee is from Ken Clark, who uh, got me a gift subscription to Mr. Box. I'm gonna have two more shipments of that, and I'm excited. Um, and to Mike from Connecticut, who sent me this when he went to Hawaii. He also sent me this um, last year, um, and it's Kona coffee, and it's really good, also from Hawaii. So um, I really appreciate you guys. <laughs> this is all coffee themed, because that one is. It's also Kona Coffee Glaze, so thank you guys, and I really appreciate your support and just how nice you are. But I gotta tell you guys, um, the support and really nice comments have been really amazing, and I really do appreciate all of that. Um, nevertheless, there's still some kind of weird misogynistic comments. <laughs> I've done two of these already. Um, on my couch in my mom's room back home in Russia. A big orange couch and I would just sit there and read the comments but I kind of forgot to do that this year when I was back home because I was only there for like three weeks. Oh another thing is I've been reading some comments for my last video when I was having a breakdown at Starbucks and I don't think you guys understand what um, at team was because I don't I don't think I explained it too well in the video but I did mention it's a student run thing so it's where there's like 20 some students and we we're doing a campaign so it wasn't a real job that I got fired from and it wasn't a paid job either so and it was not a company it was a club within the J school and it was just kind of a cool thing to do and it was really hard to get into it so that's why I was sad that I get kicked out of it for um, not really a, that good of a reason I guess I'm still thinking that way I'm just I'm still salty but whatever um, I'm kind of over it. I'm taking a theater class next term. That's exciting. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me uh, just start with some of the comments here. You need to show your ass for more likes. Show me your tits, please. So, it's another one of those. Um, I'm just always wondering, like, how, like, why, what are you expecting me to do, like, when I get this comment? Like, oh yeah, okay, I'll do it. Like, is that the kind of reaction you're, like, thinking is gonna happen, or... I don't know, it's just, it doesn't make sense to me. And there's um, this lady named Ellie who has been actually commenting on my videos quite, um, for quite a while. But for this last video, she did this whole word vomit and she's just kind of bitching about how I'm complaining and how I have a privilege of going to school for free. You guys can read this comment. I do appreciate all of you guys saying all the nice stuff to her <laughs> to this. But, um... I don't know, it's just, it just doesn't make sense to people are like bitching about me, but they're still commenting in my videos. So it's like, why do you bother doing that if you really don't like me? Go filming some home video with the slut aside. I'm not really sure what you're trying to say and who you're talking to and what is going on here. Um, but real people just really kind of like the idea of me being a porn star, I think, ever since I came up with that. Um, naked and Russian Vanya video. There has been just so much misogynistic, like sexual stuff on my channel. It's just disgusting. Another one of those, as we're actually speaking. Hi, honey. May I see your nude? I'm not sure what nude part you want to see. Like your nude, what? Like I don't understand. Like are you serious? Like what? What do you expect me to reply? Like what are you expecting when you're writing this? I feel like they think that YouTube is like. A porn site where you can like chat with girls or something or see naked pictures but this is YouTube and this is the wrong place for you guys just FYI shit your shit I don't know what this means I'm sorry but I'm just gonna move on from this one I thought Russian girls are supposed to be hot maybe she did her hair lol all right you guys this is this kind of misogynistic shit I was talking about in the beginning if you don't have anything nice to say why do you say it but also, um, thank you, Ken Clark, for saying nice stuff. This person um, told me, can you send me your old beautiful photo smiley face? I know this is not 
meant to be like a mean comment. This is from my video where I was changing my passport and I was showing my old passport where I was 14 and I took a picture and he's asking for a picture of when I was 14 and I find that a little creepy. But um, he also commented, he said a lot of other things like Sophie Queen, can I join the school again? Where's me? Baby chocolate is mine. Mom said it for me. I just, I love Russia and I'll see your smile. Sir, I think you need to maybe get out of YouTube. I'm, I appreciate your nice comments, but you might want to talk to some other people that are real and not me on YouTube. I'm also like forever sick, by the way, so excuse my voice. Do you realize we think Russians and other foreigners are weirdos for what they say and think is appropriate to ask too? Yeah, I go back to Mother Russia, says Captain America, so... Um, basically this is nothing new, I've been getting these for a while now, telling me to go back to Russia. It just seems to be like an American, not, I want to say American, I don't want to generalize, but a lot of Americans say that. The American nation, the country, has been founded on immigrants, so you saying somebody to go back to where they came from is hypocritical and illogical and just really not a good thing to say, so... Yeah. All gays need to die. You, sir, need to drink water and come down and come back later. Wow, thanks for uploading. P.S. We don't give a shit. And then I replied to that and I said that I don't also give a shit. But he kept on going. Well, then why respond, Ruski retard? P.S. Your political views are artistic. Okay, that P.S. just got to me, guys. It's just, it killed me and I can't. I'm sad and yeah. Um, I don't really know what to say to this except using retard and autistic as an insult is just Telling me a lot about who you are and that's all I'm gonna say. Another thing is he also kept going and he said Not many views on the video. How sad not. I <laughs> would rather shove my dick into a blender and drink the pulp than listen to the shit about your Asian country Yeah, um Yeah, you don't give a shit yet. You're keep commenting so I don't know who's giving a shit here. Is the woman in the video ashamed of her breasts or something? And then there's a couple of replies. Um, her breasts are only for her husband. Oh, I'm a bit disappointed. <laughs> um, so this is again, it's coming back to the whole the misogyny theme and it's just ridiculous. The whole this and people commenting on things like my body parts is just, I don't know, I just think it's really wrong and there are other places for you to go and do that, like porn sites, right? I mean, they're there for you, and you can go and use those, and not YouTube. This lady um, was just screaming about things, and she's only, whenever she would finish a sentence, she would have an exclamation mark, and then three dots, and then she will continue on, so like, no spaces. First of all, who does that? Like, what kind of, where did you learn your punctuation? Second of all, she's talking about school, this is from a Russian school video. Um, and how like it's too expensive to afford it. The school is probably like a paid school. It's a private one. Parents are paying a lot of money. And let me tell you this. I went to that school as I also mentioned in the video. My mom was a teacher in that school and we're not from a rich background. My dad is a police officer. My mom was a high school teacher and they're divorced too. And my mom was not paying shit for me in that school except for my food in the cafeteria. So education is free in Russia period, unless you're going to a private school. And private schools are much nicer than what you saw in the video. Those are ridiculously nice and they're expensive. And it actually would say that on the front of the school, like as you walk in. And I also talked to the principal of that school and she's talking about budgets and all that fun stuff. And she would mention that it's a private school and she would not talk about government and all that, that stuff. So yeah. Lady, you didn't do your research. Her picture looks kind of like Tammy Lauren. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do that. You didn't show anything, but it was nonetheless erotic. Okay, that is just, how can a video that is intended to inform you guys, like show you guys what a banya looks like, in which you have to be naked, how is that erotic? It's just, this is just over my head, this logic and it's just, ugh, disgusting. We don't want you to come back. Rot in Russia and maybe then you'll live long enough to make stupid things Russians say. Again, the whole don't come back to America situation, yeah, been there. Joseph Stalin says, in Soviet Russia. All right, well, 
he knows probably about how things went down in Soviet Russia. Keep Portland white. All right, that's just not right to say. Fuck Russia. <laughs> Are you the one hacking the Democrats? Just checking. I know this is like a harmless comment, but I just thought it was kind of funny. And no, I'm not because I, people joke a lot about me being like a KGB spy or something and I'm not, so, or am I? And then this person just really wanted to let us know that he doesn't like LGBT. So he says, KYS, not sure what that means. Russia will kill you just like we did the Nazis. And then he goes on to say, fuck LGBT. And he keeps saying that actually for quite a while. Um, and he just really wanted to let us all know that he doesn't like LGBT, so Getting checked for STIs looks like Stacy gets around So it's none of your business first of all Second of all, no matter what if you're like switching partners if you're I don't know just if you're starting if you have a new partner You always have to check get checked for STIs and I just called it that I don't know like what the general word is but in Russia we don't even use that word we just say going to the gynecologist to like check yourself. So that could also mean like any other things that can happen, like with genetics or whatever. So I'm not trying to defend myself here. <laughs> I just think everyone should be getting checked for STIs, but don't worry, I'm not getting around, as you say. You never see Americans making videos just to talk shit about other countries. Fuck you. There are some Americans who do that, but the comment that came out after that just made my day. Have you turned on the news lately? There's this guy named Trump. And that's true, yeah. This is this is comment wins comment of the year. Then this guy just says, fuck you, and three people like that comment, so okay. Russians are gays. Well that's a really broad sentence here, and you might want to do some research before you say big things like that. No tits, no pussy shot, boring. The video title is very misleading. And eight people like that. The most funny part about this is the username Yogi Bear 2K10. What? Again, this people came to my naked in a Russian Vanya video, and again, it's maybe my fault that I um, did the whole like screenshot and the title. And I was naked, obviously, but it was not like a, intended to be like a sexual video or anything like that because basically that's not my style of <laughs> my channel. First of all. And second of all, I would never do a video like that, just so you know, because I have other things to do in life and getting naked on camera is definitely not one of them. But the reaction of people who like legitimately thought that this was going to be some kind of porno was just hilarious to me because it's like, this is fucking YouTube, are you serious? Like, YouTube would block any kind of nudity. And Yogi Bear 2K10, seriously, you're gonna, if you're gonna comment this, you have to to have a different username. It's just that doesn't this doesn't work like that. Okay, and then this so the first comment from the Brian Reglan channel um, is actually not bad, but this other one she does seem a little bitchy lately. LOL. And <laughs> this next one after that, Cat Stevens says, "I remember when she was so sweet. What happened to her?" <laughs> um, I don't know, guys. I'm I'm really not trying to be bitchy or anything. And then Pudge from Canada says, "Oh come on, guys, Stacy's bomb." Thank you for writing a nice comment. I really appreciate it. How old is she? Because basically all we've seen was her, her shoulders, the whole entire time she was nude. Oh, and the floor. So this person is also salty that I didn't get naked entirely on camera <laughs> for that one Vanya video, which is actually about to hit a million views. So great job, Stacy, on that screenshot. <laughs> okay, this guy, I'm just gonna leave this comment here. You guys can read it um, if you want to. He just kind of bitches about just random shit. And this is for the video where I was asking my fellow students in the Russian school about America, like just questions about like American history and all that stuff because I watched a bunch of videos where Americans answer the same questions and they just kind of failed them. So I decided to do the same experiment back home in Russia. So, and he ends it with stay strong and powerful America. Ugh, like, I feel like you're Americans, and I don't mean it in a bad way, because I feel like whenever I say something like this, people just get triggered, and it's just ridiculous, but you Americans need to chill sometimes, um, and not turn everything into an opportunity to be like, USA, yeah, we're the best, and whatever else you say after that. It's just, it's just a video. Just admit that people don't know enough about their own history in the U.S. Fuck gay people. Pia Pol, actually, that's what he said. Um, okay. 
Hi, I'm recording a video. <laughs> so, I'm like in the middle of it. I'm like reading my really bad comments on my channel. People say like, fuck gays or like, show me your tits or something like that. So if you hear that, it's not me just recording a really weird video. It's me reading these comments. I want to met girls in Banya. And this is just another one of those weird usernames, pump3344. I have wonderful news for you. Jesus Christ loves you and he's coming any day now like a thief in the night. All the signs are here now. Stay close to Jesus. Also, all printed and online Bibles are changing. <laughs> he just keeps going about videos, but this is a first on my channel. It's the Jesus people, you know, spreading the word. This lady, um, Lilia USA, she's just again goes on about how she's thankful I can't vote and about a, a lot of other things. And that's just for my political video. And I told people that I'm pretty liberal and I want to if I could vote, I would vote for Bernie Sanders, but it's too late for that now. But she's just talking about how um, everything that he's talking about is not going to happen and how it's a lot of money and how people are going to be taxed a lot more. Well, guess what? Now that Trump isn't going to be in charge, people's taxes are going way up. So, lady, you need to do research as well. And I know that because I have a job here as well. I guess she couldn't stop, so she commented again um, after those two, the first two comments. So she's talking about... Christians and how they're pushing their religion and lady you can't tell me how Christians are not pushing their religion because I just read a comment from a person who was telling me to watch this video about Jesus or whatever and I'm a Christian myself so like Christianity is becoming a laughing stock um, especially how people are using it to hate others and do the whole um, hate mongering and just really sad so this person named Pony, who has dogs as its profile picture, um, says, Here we have another little stupid girl making a dumbass video about America. It's pretty much what it was, yeah. Alexandra says, Dirty Russian goulash, go back to Poland. Okay, this just doesn't make sense. Um, if you're gonna write a comment like this, you have to do your research, um, because I'm not from Poland. <laughs> so I'm gonna wrap up this video with a comment from Ellie, who already made an appearance before. I hope you go back to Russia as soon as possible. And two people liked it, so I guess two other people want me to go back home to Russia. So um, that's basically it. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video um, as much as I did reading all these comments. Again, this is just a little part of it. When I was like looking through them, it took me kind of a while to really weed out some of the bad ones. Appreciate you guys asking those questions and being nice and commenting um, all the great stuff. Also sending me things, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video. That's just like insane honor to re be receiving things from you guys but since we're gonna talking about this um i do have a patreon page so you guys can like pledge and help me out with school and other things i'm a poor college student i know it may not look like it but um it, because i have a scholarship and everything but there's a lot of other stuff like rent and groceries and expenses and whatever um so if you can go there and check it out and maybe share it that'd be also super nice and i'll link it in the description it probably will be somewhere up there um so yeah but this video is kind of long, um, hopefully it wasn't too long for you guys, but I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching this one, and have a good day. Bye!